Welcome back to my channel. It's Sam Cantu and today I wanted to talk um, a little bit more about my job and share something that's just been on my heart. It's been weighing heavily on me this week. Um, as I said in a previous video, I work for Elijah Rising. We're a nonprofit organization that is fighting sex trafficking through prayer awareness, intervention, and restoration. Um, so we pray, we raise awareness the issue of sex trafficking, and that means everything from doing prevention work, presentations, um, you know, working in churches and organizations, sharing them about what sex trafficking is and what we can do about it. You know, we do intervention, so we intervene in the places where women are being exploited in the sex industry, um, strip clubs on the street, in brothels, in cantina bars where women are sold under kind of incognito, um, <clears throat> and also in hotels. Um, and then we do restoration where we have a housing facility um, out in the country, which I lived at for two and a half years helping get that ready, um, called Kendleton Farms, which is a um, restoration program. So I have worked with women who have been trafficked for um, about six years now. And you know, there's days that are difficult, there's days that are hard, <laughs> there's days that are heartbreaking to see and hear things. And sometimes I'm almost a little bit, maybe it's for my own sanity, dissociated um, from the horrors that I hear about and myself. There's an amount of distance that I keep. I mean, I have cried, I have wept, I have thrown up because of things that I've seen and heard. But like this week was really rough because um, this weekend um, I'm having my baby showers. Like I'm having a baby girl, like that's happening to me. And by Wednesday of this week, I had spoken with three mothers um, whose children were all being trafficked and they were best begging for help. Um, and usually the women that I work with are years down the line when they've been trafficked. And I have worked with moms, I've talked with moms, I've seen minors and you know, there's other organizations that serve minors specifically. And this week was just really intense. The youngest girl that I heard about this, the ages were 8, 10, 12, 14, and 17. And these moms, you know, you meet them in the most horrifying situation. And I know that I'm not even as able to be a source of comfort. And I tell them, I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't give you any good news. Um, because the good news is that it's over and it's fixed. And really it's like they're stepping into the beginning of a long journey of getting their daughters back, getting them recovered. And then after that week, I have a celebration of my little girl coming into the world. And um, it's just a lot. It's a lot to take in that there's moms whose little girls um, are taken from them. And these little girls are, are out there. And a lot of people just either don't care or they're too afraid to really look at this problem. And so though it breaks my heart, it makes me so proud. It makes me so proud to know that like the ones who's, who have been taken away like it's not over, that we're fighting for them and, um, and that restoration is possible. The women that we've worked with, um, we see them recover. We see God do amazing things in their life. We see them realize how beautiful they are as women and also as moms. And so I wanted to make this video to share, like this is a real thing that's happening. It's happening to every socioeconomic class. It's happening to all races. It's happening more to marginalized people, but it is happening and I would be naive to think that I'm not bringing my daughter into a world where we're gonna have to train her on, in, to teach her discernment, to teach her wisdom, and to be strong when she does make mistakes. Because these girls, they get sucked up into it because they send a nude photo to someone because they want love, they want affection, and then that person uses it as blackmail, and that's the first key. So I have to be ready as a mom to be strong and to not panic and to be a safe place where my daughter knows that she, even when she's not perfect, I'm here for her. And so why am I making this video? I'm making this video because I don't, I have a lot of internet friends 
um, a lot of people that I don't really engage with in person. So you may not, you know, be, I, I wouldn't ask you to like buy me something for my child, but I'm asking you if this week, seeing all these horrible things and also celebrating that my daughter's coming into this world, I'm asking you if you would help us. <laughs> um, Elijah Rising didn't ask me to do this. I get no commission if I make donations, but I wondered if you would just take a moment and think about what my, a new life represents and to make a donation in Lucy's name. My daughter, is her name is Lucy. In Lucy's name um, to Elijah Rising so that we can continue to fight for these women. I, you know, People think that you have to make like $1,000 or $10,000 and those things are amazingly helpful. <laughs> They're amazingly helpful, but we have people that give faithfully $20 a month and they just say, hey, I'm gonna give up those, those extra coffees or I'm gonna give up this in order to see this happen. And they sew into the future of women who have been cast off, who've been marginalized, who've been abused. And I'm just, oh, I'm a mess. Uh, oh, this was my baby shower makeup but that's what touch-ups are for but I'm like sitting here instead of getting ready for the baby shower but um, I'm just asking you to if you would have it in your heart for my daughter and then for the collective daughters of Houston in this country that you would make a donation so that we can build a home we can build out this home for survivors we're opening we're trying to open up eight beds in February um, and just do it in Lucy's honor um, I would so, so, so appreciate it because I, I just want to sew into, you know, my future as a mother and then all of these women who, they're not my daughters. I don't feel like they're my clients are my daughter. And a lot of my clients are sometimes even older than I am, but I see them as God's daughters. And if it were your daughter, you would do anything. You would do anything. You would go anywhere. I know I would run to the ends of the earth to find her and to help her and to give her everything that she needs to hold her and to let her know like that she's loved and she's cared for and so um that's what we want to do and we want to do that in a way that isn't just you know giving somewhere so someone a place to stay but it's empowering them with education with identity with uh, you know counseling with the things that they realize not just Oh, these people love me but they realize that I am worthy of love and so there's gonna be a link in this description um, to a fund uh, in Lucy's honor that'll go directly to Elijah rising I, there's no middleman and um, I just want to sew into Lu Lucy's legacy you know her name is Lucy brave Hernandez and um, I think she we wanted to name her brave because she is going to be a young woman um, who will be raised to be brave in this world the way that it sees women sometimes um, and we want her um, to speak out even amongst her peers about what it means to be a brave woman in society today and uh, yeah so thank you so much for watching um, you know and please share this video with your friends so that we can um, sow a seed into Elijah Rising on behalf of my daughter and um, thank you so much already those who are gonna give um, as a gift it's the best baby shower gift I could ever get you know I'm grateful I need things you know we need things and I think that our families are providing those and we're able to get things and but this would be a huge blessing to me to Hayden and to Lucy so thank you so much for watching um, sorry for boohooing on camera uh, but I really appreciate you guys listening and being able to share these experiences because if I can share these experiences and it wasn't just pain for pain's sake, it was pain to make a change and make an impact. Um, yeah, thank you guys. Have a great weekend. Again, the link is below. God bless. Thank you.